Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to get a free domain and WordPress hosting. But before we start, let me ask, do you really need free hosting? Free hosting can be great for personal projects. For instance, if you are practicing web design and developing new skills, free hosting can come in handy. Also, if you want to try new ideas such as affiliate marketing and don't want to pay for hosting, you can get started with free hosting. However, if you need an environment to stage sites, then free hosting is not right for you. What you need is local development tools such as ZAMP or local. I've left links on how to install ZAMP and also how to run a local server without using ZAMP down below. Go ahead and check them out. Now, how do you get free hosting? Just follow the steps in this video and by the end you'll have free hosting. To get free hosting, go to your browser and search for a WordSpace hosting. Choose the first result on the search engine results page. I've left a link in the description for you to get started easily. You can just go down below in the description and click on the link, our WordSpace link. Now, with our WordSpace, you'll get free web hosting, free subdomain, PHP, MySQL, and App Installer. You'll also be able to send emails and you'll have web hosting with no ads, whereby the host will not be displaying ads on your website. So, to get free hosting, you can either click on the free sign up button on the top right or just click the get started button. So let's just click the get started button and we'll be prompted to sign up. There are three ways to sign up. You can sign up using Facebook, using Google or manually enter your details that is through email. So let us use the manual method whereby we'll enter our details. So click on that, enter your name, enter your email and enter your password. Make sure that your password is strong and store it somewhere because you'll need it to log in every time you want to access your cPanel and install other software. After you are done, go ahead and read on the terms and conditions and also privacy policy. I'll open them on a new tab so that you can be able to read through them. After you are done with reading and you confirm that you will obey the terms and conditions and also stick to the privacy policy. Then go back to the registration page and click register. To start building your site with the WordSpace for free, you need to verify your email. So just go ahead, go to your email and you will find an email from a WordSpace. They can either be on the inbox or on the spam folder. So if you don't find it on the inbox, then you can be sure to find it on the spam folder. Just click it to open it and it will open on a new tab. We have successfully verified our account. So step number two is to get a domain name. To get your domain name, you need to go back to a WordSpace and log in. In my case, I'm already logged in, so I don't have to go through all that process. Just go to hosting tools, scroll down and click on domain manager. So it takes you to this page whereby you can register a domain, you can transfer a domain, you can host a domain or you can create a free subdomain. So if you already have a domain, you can host it. If you want to transfer a domain, you can go ahead and buy the domain from your favorite domain. You can go ahead and transfer a domain from your favorite registrar. One of the best registrars is Namecheap. So I'll leave a link in the description below. So if you may want to connect to buy a domain, then you can use the Namecheap link in the description below and support this channel. In my case, I'll create a free subdomain and then I'll type in my preferred subdomain e and M tutorials so that's my subdomain and then here I'll select my domain we just go with the first one that is at webpages.com and then click on create so you can see we have created our website what we need to do is open the site and see how it looks like so let us just open the site and we open it on a new tab so that we can be able to preview it here is our site so far we have created an account we have got a free domain name now what is left is for us to install WordPress. So to install WordPress, just go back to your cPanel and to hosting tools and scroll down to Zaki App Installer and click on it. Scroll down and find this button that is Browse and Install Apps. Just click on Browse and Install Apps. So on this section, you'll find all apps you can use to build any website. We have WordPress, we have Joomla, we have Drupal, we have Modo, we have PHP, BB, we have OpenCAD, we have SwitchCRM, we have ZenCAD. You can install any and start building 
your website from scratch. Because our video is about a free web WordPress hosting, we are going to install WordPress. So I'll click on WordPress and I'll proceed to step two. Here you'll be required to choose your title of the name of that is the name of your website, your username and also a password. So I'll just go ahead and uh, name my website. So I'll name my website. That is the name of my website. Then I'll choose my admin username. So let me stick to EM tutorials. And then my password. And then click on install application. So it doesn't like it. So let me just use E and M. Now, WordPress installation is, is ongoing. It is creating a database and copy files and also sending emails. So this will take some time to complete. Congratulations, you have successfully installed WordPress version 6.02 on your domain. Here you can find two links. The first one is a link to the front end of our site. You can, whereby you can just go and look at how the website looks like. So let, let's just go and look at how it looks like. This is how our website looks like. It looks very ugly. And you need to style it up a little bit to make it look a little bit professional. So what you need to do is go back to our art space and click on the second link. But I'm not going to do, to, go, to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to log in from this side. I just add slash WP admin and then click on enter. This is the WordPress login dashboard whereby we are supposed to enter our username or email and then log in. So if you went back to our WordSpace and clicked on the second link, then it will direct you to this page. So what you need to do is just enter your username. I'll enter my username or my email. Let me just use my email. This is our backend and you can see everything from here. What you need to do is style it a little bit. So we are going to install a new theme. To install a theme, just go to appearances, then click on themes. Here you will find the installed theme. For instance, we have the 2022 theme is active and installed. So you can just go ahead and change that one. What we'll do is we'll click on add new. And here, right here you can find popular themes and also find the latest themes. You can also find the favorites if you have chosen a favorite. I want to install the Cadence theme. So one way of finding the Cadence theme is going to the to popular themes and then scroll down to Cadence. You can see Cadence here. So what you need to do is click on install or you can just come here on search and search Cadence. So let me just go to the popular themes and install Cadence from here. Then I'll click on activate to activate it. What I'll do next is I'll delete the other themes so that I'll only be left with two. So I'll delete, I want to delete the 2021 theme. So just click on it and delete it. Delete it. Then I'll also delete on the 2020. Delete it. Now I have two themes. The Cadence theme and the 2022 theme. Let's preview the website and see how it looks like from the other side. So I'll open the site on a new tab. You can see it has changed. With our Cadence theme already installed, you can go ahead and uh, start building your website. You can start by importing demo in a, from a starter template, such as the Cadence starter template. If you found value in this video, then go ahead, like this video, share it with your friends, and don't forget to comment below and subscribe to this channel. In the meantime, stay safe.